for being here. I'm just going to open up in prayer and say, number one, thank you for being here. It's good to be in the house of God. Uh, it's good to be together, fellowshipping. And so I'm just going to open this up in prayer. Uh, if you can and will, uh, please bow with me. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for such a day. Lord, that we can come together. Lord, that we can come together and not only just be together as believers, but also be together to, to, to celebrate what you've done through your servants. Amen. And Lord, I am reminded as I came down here on your way today, Lord, I pray you be with each of the speakers, Lord. I'm sure uh, it's going to be a wonderful day. And so, Lord, I just want to say I love you and I thank you for all that you do. For it's in your holy and your only name that we can praise. And it's in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 Hello and welcome. I'm Emily Turner and I am the mayor of Michaelsville and I would like to welcome each and every one of you to our sweet little town. Amen. The town of Michaelsville welcomes everybody today as celebrations as we honor our homegrown girl, Tanisha Lewis, and the Elizabeth City State University Lady Vikings. We're grateful to have in our town today Chancellor Dickens, Dixon, Mr. James Du Bois, and other elected officials, Congressman Don Bright, Representative Shelley Willingham, and our own Inchcombe County Commissioner, Mr. Ram Will. Okay, I hope I've got everybody in there. Uh, Senator. Senator Candy Smith, there she yeah. is. <laughs> Representative Bill Ward. Right here. Now, does that take care of everybody? Yeah, I hope so. Well, we would have enjoyed the beautiful parade had the weather uh, been cooperative, but it, it, it didn't want to cooperate with us, so we just have to use our imagination as to how beautiful it was and how well it just came in and how we all smiled with the fruit. Um, and we want to thank everybody that came that was willing to participate and all the people that have come together to help and the entire Washington Branch Church family for allowing us to use their fellowship hall and their church. Today we celebrate two historical, historical, Michaelsville is honoring the accomplishment of one of its own. Our homegrown girl, Tanisha Lewis, who was born and raised in the town of Michaelsville, in North Railroad Street, to Mr. Charles and Miss Deborah Lewis. <laughs> Mr. Charles has been a Macclesfield Town Commissioner for 36 years. We asked Mr. Charles to a little bit in there. They are a pillar of this community. I don't know what Macclesfield will do without Mr. Charles. <laughs> he, he's, he's our leader. He's our real leader. Second, Coach Lewis and the Lady Vikings, momentous winning of the first CIAA tournament in 132 years. <laughs> they are the Central Intercollegiate Athletic Association 2023 champions. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we would like to ask the Lady Vikings and their staff to please come in. Let's give them a hand of praise. Students 
in 28 undergraduate programs and four graduate programs, and as a member of school of the Thurgood Marshall College Fund and the University of North Carolina System. This is quite an accomplishment for the citizens of Pakistan, so we wanted to celebrate you guys. <laughs>
determination into winning. And so I've been very, very proud to uh, name her our coach. And from the very start, um, as you can see, you know, she went into what COVID was, was the very first season. And then the first season she actually got to play and coach um, with our team was we made it to the finalists. Uh, the championship with the CIAA. We didn't bring it home right then and there, but we knew that there would be a day. And so this past uh, championship, this past tournament, we brought it home and we're so grateful for you. And thank you for all that you have done to strengthen our team and Coach Woodard. Coach Woodard, I'm not going to forget you either. Thank you for all you do for ETSU. You already have uh, cheered them on and congratulated them, but you all are absolutely amazing. Yeah. And if I So much has been 
on the news and over the but this is truly a women's basketball. And for that, we say thank you, Coach Lewis. Thank you to this team. Thank you all for being trailblazers, not only at our university, but in women's basketball as a whole in Division Two. We thank you for the way you've represented us and our university all throughout the season. And as you continue to do that in our off season, but continue to strive for the best, continue to keep moving forward, but continue to know that you'll always be the first. <laughs> Many things. Um, being a college athlete myself, when I play basketball, 
in your life in such a tremendous 
certainly tell you the influence of Mr. Keith Pittman upon my life. Uh, and so, uh, uh, back at high school, and I know you, I know you would put it on your players. When I was in high school, Mr. Keith Pittman ran us so much. I could stick out my tongue and turn sideways, and I look like a see something drastic. Just, we are so proud of you from Macclesfield and for all your accomplishments and exactly who you are, who you represent, and you also represent us. Tanisha, on behalf of uh, Edgecombe County Government, a lot of credit for this, what I'm getting ready to do here. Uh, on Monday night, this was not supposed to happen because this was going to be a surprise to your family, but since it did happen, it was on, on our agenda, it had to be read Monday night. So uh, you pretend, I hope you didn't see it. Good, okay, <laughs> right, right, right. Here it is from the Edgecombe County Commissioner's resolution to honor Coach Tanisha Lewis, Elizabeth City State University women's basketball coach. Whereas the members of the Edgecombe County Board of Commissioners believe that all of our citizens contribute to the greatness of our county, yet there are some whose service and achievements are notable and worthy of our recognition and Whereas Ms. Tanisha Lewis, a native of Edgecombe County, is one such deserving citizen uh, of our honor for her exemplary leadership and commitment. And whereas, after graduating from Southwest Edgecombe High School, Coach Lewis played for a number of years in the Women's National Basketball Association. And whereas Ms. Lewis is the Elizabeth City State University Women's Basketball Coach, recently led her team to the first CIAA championship title. Now, therefore, be it officially and publicly noted that the Edgecombe County Board of Commissioners hereby gives honor to the leadership and achievements of Coach Tanisha Lewis this third day of April, 2023, signed by our Commissioner, uh, Chairman Leonard Wiggins, and attested to by our clerk, Franzen Mungo. Seriously speaking, um, 
it's so good to see you. Now, there is a wish list. We need some new stadiums and everything else. Okay, I'm putting a little plug in. Of course, all these legislators here. <laughs> and the House, you know, we're working on the budget, right? So. <laughs> but no, seriously speaking, when I think about we are here, we've come from far and near because something special has been done. Coach, this has not been done in the history of this institution. 133 years. To the players, so many players have played and come through this program. But it took support, to guidance, leadership, and it took just God-given talent. And when all of this comes together, then you walk away with a championship. <laughs> Because we all are here because we, and whether you realize it or not, we support you. And it's not just about one game. People are so proud of you. And not only here today, but please know that our state, we're proud of you. And that's why it was so important for me to go to the floor of the U.S. House of Representatives to share what you have done, not only with this state, but with America. So the American people know. This is what can happen. This is what can happen when everything comes together. Greatness. I'm a former athlete. I played football. Also was in the military. And there was a statue that had a bearing of the words of General Douglas Mar uh, MacArthur. And it said, on the field, fields of friendly strife are sown the seeds that on other days and on other fields will bear a fruit of victory. Now the basic meaning of this is, it's not just about one game, and it's not even about playing basketball. But when you engage, you can learn so much about yourself and life. And it's life lessons, these life lessons that stick with you. Through the game of basketball, you learn about teamwork. You learn about patience. You learn about excellence. So many lifelong lessons. And these lessons that you learn on the court, I promise you, I promise you, to all of the players, are the basic lessons that we need for you as young people to hold on to so that you can live the American dream, whether it's here in East North Carolina or in this state of New Hold on to these lessons. Hold on to these memories. And I will say this today. It's interesting we are here. For those who celebrate the resurrection. Because, because, this is what we know. Through victory, there's often sacrifice. You don't get here without a sacrifice. And when coaches out there, telling you this is what you need to do and you listen and you listen and you listen times that you wanted to stop you're ready or you may not have felt like you even coming to practice that day but yet you persevere in the neighbors and somebody's looking and say oh I remember that day now nah. <laughs> or you messed up in practice oh no man anybody else run a little bit anybody go ahead and run a little bit <laughs> <laughs> but the 
it's that sacrifice. It's that sacrifice that led towards victory. And thank you for reminding us today of what happens when you make it through your sacrifice. God bless you. We love you. We're proud of you. We're proud of you.
here just to advocate for you when you're doing well. Uh, so, so keep doing that. And I can assure you that uh, all the members of the Jewish Senate, as I said before, are aware of you, and those of us who might be in a position to, to help you, we're going to do that. And so I would say to uh, Dr. Dixon, I don't know if she remember, but she spoke at the, uh, I think we were having an event in Raleigh, Black Electric Fishers. And it's kind of funny because at the time, uh, that was, I think, the first time that I really yeah. had a conversation with her. But I, I don't know if you remember what I told you last week. I said, you know, you can be my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I got a daughter about your age. <laughs> so, and she is, and she is, you know, the life of the school down there. I can tell you that. Uh, and people always ask, you know, is she really uh, old enough to be the chances? <laughs> 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 so I can tell who I said, that's her. That's her. That's her. But let me just close and say this, that, uh, you know, what you do, it is important. And uh, it's not necessarily what you say, but you demonstrate you know, what it takes to be a champion. And being a champion is not just winning the game, it's also being a good student, being a good citizen, and also being kind to the rest of the folks around you. And also giving back to the community, and that's what you guys are doing. And so, again, I appreciate you, I love you, and I'm proud of you. Thank you, brother.
sister. And I thought I'd be out in the rain with a rain coat on and so, my rain boots. So, but Tanisha and your team, so proud of you. Um, when you're teaching health and physical education at South Edge Golden Middle School, which I love, um, you're always looking for basketball players for the girls too. And when I saw Tanisha in fifth grade, she just stood out among the rest. And the rest were great, but Tanisha stood out. And um, I think I introduced myself and I said, what if I coach girls basketball <laughs> and she was And she was our manager for fifth and sixth grade. And um, I would have to use her to play against the rest of my team. <laughs> <laughs> she always made them better. Um, so a lot of good memories, uh, a lot of um, great games that we had at South Edge Home. We had good players, good teammates, um, and Tanisha just shined. And I knew that first day in fifth grade when I met her, she would do great things. Mm -hmm. And at Southwest with Coach Langley, yeah. uh, just so proud. And then when you went to North Carolina State, we would go see you. I would take the South Edge Home Lady Dragons, and we'd go see her play. And trying to follow you. In the WNBA. And um, girls, you're so lucky to have Tanisha Lewis as your coach. And we're so proud. And I say from the Kimber Pine Talks, Michael Steele, <laughs> Edge Home Community. I mean, Edge Home Public Schools. For Tanisha to represent us, it has just been wonderful. And um, I used to tell our teams, you know, make each day your masterpiece, and she has truly done it. So thank you, and God bless you. And we have one other of those um, former coaches, Tanisha. I'm like uh, Coach Cobb. I didn't know I was going to be speaking today. Uh, but yeah, we here to You remember that roast that we had? Yes. You got me? Yeah, I did. I won't do it to you today. <laughs> Because of her leadership, we got there. And uh, yes, we had some 
We, she may have gotten some of her tactics from me. There are many which we ran a lot. <laughs> and but she understood the importance of discipline and practice, I think, through me. I, I will forget one more story. She came to me one day. She got upset. And I won't tell you what she got upset about. But she was upset with me for sophomore year. Uh, uh, let's see, what's it? Uh, yeah, something I had done. And uh, she, she didn't. Oh, I think it was like my name here. Yes, yeah, sophomore year. And something she didn't like about this one her. And then she went through uh, some other coach in, in the fall. And something happened. And maybe she didn't like what the coach did. And she, she, and she was mad at me for seven months. <laughs> and uh, that's my season was approaching. She came sat down in my office. She said, I never thought I'd say this to you, coach. But I appreciate you this. I see why you have to discipline the superstars. Because you do. You've got to treat everybody fairly. I mean, you know, you've got to. Handle some things he is different sometimes, but I understand you. Let's I know why you did what you got to do. And this was the only one that we were running up at you before. She kind of said, I appreciate what you do. You won't have any more trouble from me. And I said, Well, I remind you the first time I stepped on your toes. <laughs> but you know what? I never had any more trouble out of her. She was the leader we needed, and we won that state championship that year, and we were undefeated. <laughs> Makes that difference where you get to the lost and make that difference. <coughs> and we had a game. Uh, you remember that game? We were home and uh, I remember calling time out and I finished talking to the team. And she said, Can I talk to him now, coach? I said, You can't. She was just pointing her finger at us. <laughs> and we went back out there. Next time we knew, we got shot, listen, tied it, and we won that game. And they had not won that game, we got those state champions. But that leadership is what shines through. The team has to have that leadership. You've got to have those players that all coaches have to have help. That player that will help lead that team. I'm sure you've got some of those players too that help help the team, lead the team. But uh, we love you and we're so proud of you. And I do remember Alex said he saw you at the uh, tournament. He was officiating. He said y'all had to kind of do a double take. And my son officiates. And then they didn't think they were going to didn't know that they were both there. But uh, he was telling me, you know, how good you look. How, Team was good and all that. <laughs> 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 but Tanisha has always, you know, been very, we know she's very attractive. She dresses up. You don't even know she's a coach. <laughs> she knows how to be like, dress down like a coach. She also knows how to dress up. And she's a good representative for y'all, a good role model. You're very fortunate to have her. Yeah. Okay, Tanisha, we love you, you. and um, if you're so proud of you, we're so proud of this city. I did have a player that went there years ago. I won't say how many years, but <laughs> my first year at North Edge home, I had a player that went to the city, and she did real well there, too. It's a great institution. I have visited there. I'm very proud of all of y'all, and uh, keep up the great work. We're having another championship. <laughs> A member of our Knoxville Town Council, Ms. Jean Wooten Giles. I'm just a lady, even though it rained on our parade, but we're still having a wonderful time. We are glad to have a wonderful parade, but we're glad we still get to celebrate you all. And I was just so excited. And I went to our board, I said, we got to do something for our homegrown girl history. I was like, we gotta bring this back to Macclesfield. It's my honor now just to introduce Tanisha, let her come and have words. And we have people from Barney. Yeah, we thank you all for being here. I just knew Tanisha from the time she was born, so I've known her all her life. <laughs> right here in the town of Macclesfield, right here where she was born and bred though. But the one thing I wanna say is that she's always been consistent about what she's done. And that she was always going to say, I'm going to do the best at it. You know, that was the attitude. I've got to do the best. And I see that that carried her to this place of a championship. You don't have the bowel. And sometimes it's not good to read to adults when they can read, right? So you think, we know how to read, so you got a bowel in front of you. I'm not, not going to have take time to do that. But we just thank God for Tanisha. And the one thing I can remember is that my mom, when she was living, uh, they, they didn't hardly have driver's license. 
She let man drag to Nisha Post drive to Raleigh. She lost the day to get in the steering wheel. They didn't have that much. She let them drive to Raleigh. Like I said, Mom, who brought it? Tanisha drove, man drag to Raleigh. They didn't have any license, Mom. <laughs>
Oh man, Dr. B, Dr. Borkis right here to sign the class. I mean, listen, y'all got to come to the game. I mean, they set the whole atmosphere. Uh, they take good care of us. Anything that, anywhere we might be sure. And I appreciate my family, husband, baby, my niece, my niece, my niece, my niece, my niece now. And uh, Coach Carver, he says, you the lights out here and I'm chilling. <laughs> My hips don't work like that. <laughs> uh, thank you. Uh, it's not AD, you know, we fight for you. And, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, we fight next week too. But, you know, <laughs> I appreciate it. We're two visionaries together. You both hate us. You know what I'm saying? But when you realize you got the same vision, then we can grow. And so I'm just grateful for the vision that he has for our institution, for these women, uh, for all the athletes that. ECSU, I'm super grateful. And let's get Dr. Dixon more than clap, clap, clap. If you say what you want, and it sprinkles down. So if they, Dr. Dixon is down to us, empowered us to be great in everything we do. And so I'm grateful for your leadership. Oh man, I hate I'm trying to call their names and I messed up. But uh, I see my House of Liberty family, my church family. Uh, my church family, thank y'all so much for everything. Uh, my cousin, um, my family, my friends, that's everybody here. And my two coaches back right there, listen. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Um, thank you so much <laughs> uh, for uh, uh, discipline, um, uh, for teaching me the importance of all of us, the team. Um, and the importance of leadership. And um, I have definitely found several knees right here um, that I'm getting paid back for some of the things I did. Thank you. I appreciate that. And um, uh, I don't know if my friend April Holmes in the back. He is uh, first on the episode. Awesome friend, appreciate it. My daddy pointed at some of my daddy pointed. Oh man, my trip. Oh, there are nice babies. Okay. I gotta tell you, the film was back here. Y'all saw that back here. Right here, waving. Listen, I met them because I was an exclusive spinner. <laughs> I appreciate it. 
here, uh, Marion uh, Hakeem. Um, she is, where's she from? Detroit. Detroit. <laughs> uh, Borrego just had surgery uh, on Monday, so pray for her. She's in a little pain right now. Kind of salty that she can't be here, but uh, she has surgery. Um, she's from Harvard, North Carolina. Another great student, another great person. Um, yeah. Kia, Kia, Kia. Kia uh, family, King um, from uh, her uh, all that she's not here, and Chase had a family emergency with her now. But um, those are my kids. Uh, thank y'all. Uh, give them a round of applause. This morning, we uh, reached Coach Lewis and her team uh, on behalf of the 315 uh, Patello Vikings at our school. And so uh, this morning, I have two of our Student Government Association leaders with me this morning who are officially on spring break, but they uh, are here today. So I'm going to let them introduce themselves. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. My name is Christian Moore. I go to Dovia Patello. I'm in second grade, and I currently serve as the second grade. Stop by and um, share just a, a few quick remarks, and uh, we want to make a special presentation to Coach Lewis. And so, um, I had recently arrived at Patillo as a new principal, and um, I wanted to do something uh, radical on the first day of school. And you know, first day of school can be chaotic. You're trying to get schedules, you're trying to get teachers, new teachers, or so people call me crazy because we had a. So um, I needed somebody who could come and pour into my kids like no one else. Um, because I knew that this school year was going to be a school year that our kids had not experienced, and I was trying to in. So I needed somebody who could who could speak and could pour, um, who understood kids. And so, of course, I called my good friend, Coach Lewis. I said, Coach Lewis, I need a favor. She said, what you need now? <laughs> <laughs> now, if you know Coach Lewis, you know, when you ask her for anything, she might be electric, she might push you out, she might do some other things. But if you stay in the fight long enough, just, just stay in it. Don't be offended. You're going to get what you want. So she said, Vegans enter school at 8.15. So I get to school at 8 o'clock. She said, wait, I'm coming from the city. I said, yes, for the kids. So um, <laughs> that's how you do it. That's how you do it. But after about a, I think it was maybe about a five-minute awkward silence on the phone, she said, I'll be there. And so um, she came, and so um, I had two people who I wanted there. I wanted Tanisha Lewis there. I wanted Ty Grillo there, former of the NFL, and they both said yes, and they both came. And so um, it was a powerful moment for our kids to start uh, a brand new chapter, a brand new school year, brand new leadership, to be able to meet someone of her caliber. And so um, so because of that, I really want to say thank you, Coach Lewis, publicly for um, just the investment that you've made um, in our school. Uh, and not only that, throughout the year, she has allowed us to bring some of our students to the Elizabeth City basketball games, um, you know, for positive behavior incentives. Uh, she brought the entire team to our school in December. They walked through the hallways. They spent time with our student athlete advisory council. And then we had them to meet every athlete in our building. And so these are all the things that happen privately uh, that we don't always see, but then they manifest publicly. And so part of the success that we're experiencing at has only exposed our kids to things. Um, and ironically, we, we are the Patillo Vikings, and so I hear kids in my building talking about Olympic City just because of that one interaction, just because of those one experience, those experiences. So there's value um, in terms of my friendship and connection with Coach Lewis. Of course, we both graduated from Southwest, um, Southwest Edgecombe High School, and so uh, those are some really transformative years for us. Um, we are um, both former college athletes, and we're both believers in Christ. And so I think that those three things are really powerful tools when you're trying to reach and inspire a generation that needs it so desperately. So at this time, Coach Lewis, we would like to present you with a plaque that reads, 
W.A. Patillo recognizes Coach Tanisha Lewis. Thank you for your partnership, dedication, and commitment to W.A. Patillo Middle School. Congratulations on making history as at Elizabeth City State University, winning the first ever CIAA Women's Basketball Championship. Thank you, Coach. University alumni 
please stand so that we can give you a round of applause. All right. All right. All right. Chairman of the Tom County Election. Come in the house. Come in the house. And Chair of the County. Come in the house. I'm also on the Foundation Board of Elizabeth State University. I'll say one thing and to say a great the town of Macclesfield owes her so very much. Macclesfield. So much, and I owe you a tremendous amount. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, Ms. Lord. Okay, we're going to um, have a closing prayer now. I'm still emotional, I'm sorry. And we'd like to invite everyone back to the fellowship hall to have some refreshments and enjoy and talk and get some autographs. And uh, everybody just fellowship. And while you. you're doing that, I'm, I'm going to steal this opportunity. Yes, sir. Um, I started bidding you on Tanisha. When she first started playing. Yes, sir. And I'm back to the day. So I want to let them know. Good. And I gave her all the videos. Her and Mandrake. Mandrake. I'll cover them every, every season. All right. So if they every don't have the videos there, I don't know what y'all did with them. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Amen. Good. Amen. 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 All right, Ms. Jean said I could not preach. <laughs> Listen to her. She may have said, got the wrong one up here. But anyway, I'm not going to preach. I you weren't in here when I did my opening prayer, but something just hit me this morning as I was coming up here. Romans 1 16, and that's what I've heard this week. I don't think it's since I've heard, this. heard a lot about you, but here's why with Romans 1 16, and why I want to tell you that. It's for I am not ashamed of the gospel. Amen. And what I've heard is no matter where you've been, no matter what you've done, no matter what platform you've been on, you've not been ashamed of the gospel. Amen. So for me as a pastor, uh, trying to pour that into a congregation, thank you for being a servant that has not been ashamed of the gospel. Amen. Amen. We, need, we need more leaders to bridge the gap. We need more leaders to bridge the gap. So I'm going to bless the food and close us. I'm not going to preach, I promise. Okay. And so uh, let's all bow our heads. Father, we thank you so much, Lord, for just being here. Lord, we thank you once again for uh, all the wonderful things that have been said here today. But, Father, we want to thank you for your servant. We thank you for what she's done, for the lives that she has impacted, and for the lives that she's going to impact. Amen. And so, Father, I thank you for that. Lord, I pray that you cause that light that is on the inside of her that is just screaming, I love Jesus, Lord, I pray that you allow it to shine brighter and brighter and impact more and more than we could ever think or imagine. Because, God, we know that when we line ourselves up with you, you can do great and mighty things with us. And so, Father, I pray that blessing upon our life. And, Lord, upon this team, Lord, I thank you for allowing them to experience this. But, Lord, as, as the gentleman has already said, there's only greater to come. And so, Father, we pray and thank you for that. Lord, we pray for the food uh, in, behind, Lord, I think you so much for the hands that prepared that, Lord. We pray you just take it to with our bodies. And Lord, more than anything, Lord, we thank you for the fun and the fellowship and all, all the things that's been going on with that. Father, we want to give you all the honor and all the glory for all this stuff. For it's in your holy and precious name. Amen. 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 And then finally, I'd like to say Washington Branch Church, Washington Branch Church, What were we going to do? Because we all would get underneath the tent up here. So um, we decided we would ask them, and they very generously opened their doors to us. And also, I'm very proud to see where is Triax. He, he's, he's, he, he's not here. He's not here. He's not here. He's not here. Okay. I wanted to thank you as well. Thank y'all for coming. Now, say he had a deputy here for the parade. And I
What's up?
Hey, how you doing, man? All right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.